Hello everybody, welcome to another Rock 5 video. Today I'm going to be making a cut comp. I just finished making my uh, Car 98 Best Attachments video, so go check that out if you haven't uh, seen it. And then come back to this video after you're done. But right now I'm uh, leveling up the Arasaka or the Type 99. I think it's the Arasaka. I heard people call it the Arasaka. But the Type 99, and I'm leveling it up. I'm almost done. Well, kind of almost done. I'm pretty far into leveling it up. I think I'm like level 40 something out of... 70. But anyways, this story is uh, a pretty funny story I'm going to be telling today. Hopefully my uh, game doesn't crash because it's been crashing all day, so, I mean, hopefully it doesn't crash in the middle of this video. Uh, right when I say that, it's, uh, might crash. Let's see. Okay, we good so far. Anyways, so this happened sophomore year. Uh, I was in my advisory class um, with my friends. If you don't know what an advisory class is, it's basically like a, your homeroom technically in high school and uh, you, you know, go over announcements and, you know, stuff like that in the morning. And we were in my advisory class and it was me and all my friends. It was me, my friend Bryson, Spencer, Jason, Justin, and Ian. I think that was all the people in there, but basically we would always do this thing where we, you know, if someone would leave, we'd steal their phone if they didn't bring it with them. And uh, it was, it was like that. So, and Justin had gotten up out of his seat, and and he left his phone for some reason on his desk. I don't know where he went, but he left his phone on his desk, which was his first mistake. And I'm lagging. This has been since I got the freaking game. I don't, I don't know what it is, but uh. It crashed. Oh, well, it didn't crash the entire game, but... Oh, my internet went out. Great. Well, my internet crashed. Hopefully it fixes the problem, because uh, every day I've been playing Vanguard, it's either crashed or lagged like it did earlier. Hopefully that fixes the problem. I'm waiting for my internet to get back up, uh, so I'll see you then. Oh, it's back. I was just about to go pee. My internet's gone again. Well, it looks like I'm gonna finish this story without playing Call of Duty. That's very sad. I was having fun on some dome, but uh, maybe I can't play. Please say, please say it fix itself. Oh man, we on Numa Numa. You already know, one of my favorite maps. I don't even know where I was in the story, honestly. I think I was just, all right. So Jason freaking looks at his phone and he's like, yeah, like let's freaking mess with them. So. Jason takes it and he hands it to Spencer and Bryson and Ian aren't like a part of this like they're there and they know what's going on but they don't want to be a part of it actually I think maybe we hid it in Ian's backpack at first but that was like short so he hands it to Spencer or Spencer takes it out of the backpack I don't even remember but it gets to Spencer somehow and then Spencer has it and you know every person that had it had it for you know about a minute and Justin's back at this point I'm pretty sure and Spencer has it Eventually, Spencer hands it to me, and I, like, was the last person that Justin would expect to have it. He expected Bryson or Ian to have it before me. And even Spencer, I don't think he thought would have it, but, uh, I get it somehow from Spencer, I think. And, yeah, so, I'm playing bad, by the way, guys, because I'm still leveling up this freaking sniper, but, uh, ignore that. Ignore the gameplay. Unless I start playing good, then focus on it. I have the phone now, and I, and I had it for, you know, most of the time. The reason for that is he didn't even think it was me, so, you know, I kept it because there's no way he would even search me. And I think he did eventually, but he didn't find it on me. I don't know how I hit it, but I think I passed it back to Jason in the end. And he had already searched Jason by this time, so he didn't he didn't think to search him again. So advisory is almost over, and, like, well, it didn't fix the problem. If it crashes, I'm just going to tell the story without gameplay okay we're we're fine I, I think anyway so Jason has it now and advisory is almost over so you know we're starting to leave the class go to our first period and Justin's mad because like he's not really mad but he's like you know I need to get my phone back before we go to first period because I need my phone like you guys have a different class than me so like I'm not gonna be able to get my phone if you don't give it to me now so we're walking out of the class and he's like Again, not mad, but he's like, kind of like worried, like, hey, give him my phone. So he's like kind of stressed, I don't know. And he's walking out of the class and he goes, give him my effing phone. My legs just got, I don't even know. 
Anyway, so he's like, give me my effing phone. And basically, he says it pretty loud, and we're in the hallway at this point. And he doesn't know who has who has it, so he's just saying it to anyone. He's like, give me my effing phone back. And at that point, Jason was about to give it back, but when he said that, the teacher across the hall heard him, instantly wrote him up, and gave him a major. Or a minor, I don't remember which one. I don't know how, what you get for cussing. Um, but yeah, he got like a road up instantly from her. She, she heard him, she was like, yeah. Like he said, he said the F word, so he got wrote up. And you know, we're all laughing, cause she heard him and she's like, what'd you say? Stuff like that, but we give him his phone back. And you know, we got our first period, whatever. So the next day, Jason comes in the advisory and me and Spencer are already in there and we're sitting down and he comes in he's like, guys, 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 I gotta tell you something. And we're like, what? And he's like, Justin, he's like, you know how Justin got wrote up? He's like, basically, Justin's dad came to the school and talked with them because he's because Justin's dad is mad about this. And he's like, Justin was forced to like tell the principal our names. So Ian wasn't a part of it, Bryson wasn't a part of it, but me, Spencer, and Jason were. And now we're strung into this like whole situation, like with the, you know, disciplinary action or whatever. So I'm like stressed because I'm this little gay two shoes, never been wrote up, never gotten in trouble. And now, you know, the whole day I'm like worried that like I would be in trouble and all this. And we're all asking Justin like, like we don't really blame Justin for telling him he's not being a snitch or whatever. Like he was kind of forced because they knew that three, you know, kids were a part of it. Like, so all we had to say, like, we were, we were going to get caught either way. So anyways, basically, oh, I got a, okay. So we get to lunch, me, Spencer, and Jason are sitting at the lunch table, and Jason's, and you know, me and Spencer are still worried, and like, Jason basically tells us, he's like, I got some good news, apparently all our names were dropped, and we're like, oh wait, what? And he's, and he's like, yeah, the principal heard all three of our names and instantly dropped it, like, we're good now, we're not gonna be in trouble, Justin's not gonna be in trouble. Basically, the reason that happened is because the principal was our, me, Jason, and Spencer's principal for our whole lives. Elementary school, middle school, basically. So he heard our three names, and we're good kids. We've always been good kids. He heard our three names and instantly dropped it, and Justin didn't get in trouble. I'm a, I'm a bad person, I know. I know I'm a bad person. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm still gonna use the glide bomb I stole. If I can even hit anyone. There's no way that didn't kill him. I deserve it, honestly. So yeah, basically, you know, Justin didn't get in trouble, we didn't get in trouble. Um, but I was I was stressed during the whole day. Like I was like, I'm about to freaking get wrote up or something for, you know, making him I mean I technically didn't do anything wrong. I just like took his phone and stuff, but I don't know. Justin's dad was pretty mad and I didn't want to face a really mad, like father that would have been pretty awkward but yeah shout out to my principal uh, mr bensel he is the goat he actually is the goat like he's a super good person super good principal he really cares about the students and uh i'm happy because justin didn't get in trouble in, in the end anyways guys that's going to be the video i hope you enjoyed it if you have, were in a similar situation uh leave it in the comment section below as um i want to hear your stories but yeah uh i'm on the road to 50 subs so if you like sniping videos cut comms challenges, skits, and G-Full videos, please consider subscribing and leaving a like on the video. Enjoy the rest of your morning, afternoon, or night. Lighter, G-Fuel, please sponsor me. And I'll see you in the next video.